welcome to the video. It is a frosty, frosty Gulf Coast day. Holy smokes, my hands are numb. We're high idling. Ooh, I can see my breath. Alrighty, uh, today's video is a review video on my Valair clutch. I'm going to go on a little drive right now. I'm going to test something out. I got a little bit of a coolant leak on this truck. I just tightened down the hose clamps and hope that's all it is. We're going to go on a little drive and then we'll get into the review. All right, onwards to the review. My apologies if you get some wind noise. It's breezy out here. We're having some kind of Arctic blast. Um, this video is for the heavy duty organic single disc Valair clutch. There's not a lot of reviews or information about the single discs. Lots of stuff out there about the dual discs. So I got the single disc and I thought I'd do a review video to help somebody out who was in my shoes some time back thinking about getting the single disc. So we got 4,000 miles so far on my setup. The heavy duty organic is rated for 400 horsepower, which is a 50 horsepower boost over stock. It is the middle tier single disc from Valair. So Valair has a stock style, solid mass flywheel conversion organic single disc. Then they have the heavy duty like I've got. And then they have the ceramic single disc, which is rated for something like 500 horsepower. So what is my feelings on this whole setup? So I would say that I've been pleasantly surprised that this clutch has been very stockish in how it feels you can take off gracefully with this. It's not a complete on off switch when you release the clutch pedal. You can have, you can slip the clutch a little bit and ease, ease off the line from a stop. Um, it does have a bit more grab that's noticeable, but it's not, uh, it's very close to being like the stock clutch. And I've been very happy about that. I didn't expect that. I thought it was gonna be very grabby and the hydraulics have been really good. I have the hood popped here, and for some reason, my I don't know if it's the cold weather or what, but my shocks are not holding it up, so we got the whole fence post uh, solution going on. But the hydraulics, you've got this remotely mounted reservoir, which you have to deal with. A couple self-tappers through the firewall, mounts that down to the master cylinder, and then a really nice braided line going down to the slave. And uh, the pedal feel is very good and the quality of these hydraulics looks really good. I've been very happy with the hydraulics. Uh, my old hydraulics was leaking in two places we ended up finding out, and they definitely needed to go. So the upgraded hydraulics is, is important, I think, for this setup because it is a bit stronger than the stock setup. And then, you know, your clutch pedal here, I have a little bit of free play at the top, but it is adjustable. So that's another difference from this from the stock is you can make adjustments to this to bring it higher or lower depending on where you where you like to be. Mine's kind of more more towards the middle right now. It could use a little bit of adjusting, but it's definitely usable. Um I will get to the gear rollover noise bit here. Um it's there. We'll elaborate a bit more on it later but it comes with the solid mass flywheel. So you've got a conversion from the dual mass flywheel to the solid mass flywheel. And you get the gear rollover noise because there's no longer the dampening effect from the dual mass flywheel. The benefit is that you get increased reliability and simplicity and durability from the solid mass setup. Um, I have mitigated the rollover noise a bit by putting the 50 weight SAE 50 oil in the transmission. And in weather like we're having right now where it's chilly, the trans is a bit stiff when you start driving the truck. But I have uh, used the Hot Shots synthetic, group four, group five synthetic oil in this trans. And it's pretty decent, actually. Um, it's not horrible in the cold. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, clunking noises. So when I first put the setup in and I go to drive, every time I would let off the throttle, I'd hear a clunk. 
and I'm like, okay, we didn't install something right. Checked on everything. I mean, checked the trans mounts, checked the drive shaft U-joints for play, everything. Everything looked fine. Drove the truck for about 500 miles and the clunking noise disappeared. I'm not sure what that was, but the trans, uh, the clutch broke in and we no longer have that that clunking noise anymore. Um, we thought it was the drive shaft or we thought it was the transfer case, but who knows? So how about when pulling trailers? How is this clutch for towing? I've had the chance to pull the trailer a couple of times since I've uh, had the clutch and it pulls really good down the road. You're, you're going down the road, you're driving. I like how it, how it pulls with the trailer. However, where it's a bit rougher than the stock is when you're trying to back up your trailer, especially when you're like only wanting to move the trailer six inches or a foot. You just wanna move a little bit and you don't wanna move at seven miles an hour like reverse gear wants to make you move for six miles an hour. Well, when you're trying to just move a little bit, it can be jerky, you know, it can, it can rock you back and forth it's it's trying to be a bit grabby and it wants to it wants to engage it doesn't want to be slipped when that trailer is hooked up and you're you're trying to back up slowly so that's the downside to it but it's not unbearable i can still work with it so why don't we go out on a little test drive so you all can hear the gear rollover noise perhaps uh at least i'll talk about it you know when it happens what rpms what throttle input and what gears okay here we go with the um, demo fire it up we're in neutral here so one of the things i like is you don't really get all that chatter that you get in the dual discs with this single disc i'm actually surprised by that i thought i'd hear a lot of chatter uh at idle in neutral you know if i open the door basically sounds like stock so I was pleasantly surprised by that. You sometimes get a little bit of chatter intermittently, but it's almost not even noticeable. If you got the air conditioning on or the heat running, you can not even hear it. So let's go on a little cruise. So I'm gonna idle forward in second gear. When you're kind of lugging forward like this, you can hear it sort of have a little bit of rollover noise. Coming past my guys here, trying to oversee this uh, project here. But as soon as you put on the throttle, basically goes away. Second gear now little bit of noise and once you idle up to about 1300 rpm no rollover noise at all and you can really mostly avoid the rollover noise altogether if you rev out to 2000 rpms or higher before shifting to the next gear now let's see we're doing up 10 miles an hour this would be like idle rpm in third gear let's just try that I'm idling forward in third gear. Hear that? It almost has like a marbly rock in transmission, sort of, sort of like a grind, but not really. And then if I apply throttle, you just get a little bit of a whooshing of that marbles in transmission sound as you accelerate. Then once you hit about 1300 RPMs, it goes away. We'll start here in first gear. Good engagement. You know, even in first gear, moving at about three miles an hour, you get that rollover at idle RPM. So when you're kind of crawling through parking lots and things, you get that. And I like to do that. I don't like to scream in my RPMs around parking lots. So 
1200 RPMs, third gear, 16 miles an hour. Get a little bit of rollover noise. It's not terrible. I'm just going to shift at 1800 RPMs to fourth. 1100 RPMs. See? Hear that? Fourth gear is one of the worst at lower RPMs. Let's drop the speed just for kicks. All right. 900 RPMs, hear that? 1100. Fades out above 1200 RPMs. So if you lug the engine, you get the rollover noise. But if the engine's not lugging, it's, it's quiet. 1500 RPMs, no rollover noise in fourth. Off in second here. Revved out to 2000 to third, down to 1200. A little bit of rollover immediately fades out. Back to 2000 to fourth, 1300 RPMs, no rollover noise present there. Now we're going to sh shift it 1800 to fifth take us to 1300 under light throttle no rollover now if I apply the throttle you get a little bit of it fifth gear it hangs around under heavier throttle until you're over 1500 rpms and then sixth gear you're shifting at about 1850 to 1300 now in sixth and it's quiet sixth gear actually has pretty much no rollover noise at all, even down at like 1200 RPMs, which is nice. So if you want to cruise at a lower speed, we'll take it down here 1200 RPMs. We're doing about 42 miles an hour. Not hearing any rollover noise with the little throttle. So that's good. You know, six gears where I spend pretty much all my time. And as I accelerate here, really, I don't hear any added noise compared to the stock setup when cruising around like this. Currently 1600 RPMs, 58 miles an hour. So it's not too bad, I don't think, uh, as far as the uh, rollover noise and the comfort level. So that's where I'm going to conclude the video. Hope you all enjoyed the review and I'll see you in the next one.